Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the front end editor portion of Visual Composer and how we can use that to quickly and easily create visually appealing layouts while looking at the actual basic layout of the page that we're actually going to be working on. So let's see how that works. So what I've got open at the moment is just an ordinary WordPress page. We're not using the Visual Composer, I'm just using the ordinary WordPress editor. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the front end editor this time and we're going to see how that allows us to create the page layouts while actually seeing the physical layout that we'd see on screen when we actually activate the website or with the benefit of using Visual Composer to lay things out in a visual, easy, straightforward fashion using all the same tools that we've got available to us in the ordinary administration back end editor. So what I'm going to do is for this particular template I want to go for full width and I'm just going to update my page to make sure I've saved everything before I move on and then once that's saved I'm just going to go and invoke the front end editor. So normally we click on back end editor, editor. let's just click the front end editor and see how that changes our workspace. We'll give it a couple of seconds and what we'll find is we'll switch over to this particular page we're working on on the site itself but we'll have all the benefits of Visual Composer while working on the site live. Now obviously no one's going to see this if you're working on, on your actual site but it means that we can see all the basic layout elements, the navigation across the top, our footer and all, any other elements you may have on the page. So what we've got available to us are a couple of options across the top of the screen. We've got the visual composer icon, we've got the add a new element icon and we've got the template uh, icon. We've also got the ability to control the page settings, we can work with guides on or off. We can even go and see what this layout's going to look like on a range of different devices from a normal screen to a tablet in landscape, a tablet in portrait, a typical phone in landscape and a typical phone in portrait. We can switch back into the back end editor or we can hit update. We can also work directly on the page like we normally can in the back end editor. So you can see we've got the typical tools available so we can edit our text block in this instance, we can copy, we can delete. We can add a new row or add a new element in. We've also got a couple of other options that are just laid out slightly different to we'd see, the way we see them in the back end. They still function the same way. So for example, if we want to split this into multiple columns, we just come up to the row option and we've got a couple of extra options. So all we need to do is click on the little expand icon to see all these extra available tools. So we can edit the row, we can adjust the number of layouts, actually uh, the number of columns in our layout. We can go in and add new columns, we can copy, we can delete. We can also click on the column option and we can edit the column, we can add or prepend a column and we can delete a column. So we've got all the tools we need available to us to start working on creating our pages actually on the website itself. So let's see how this works. Let's take the existing content that we've got laid out. Let's split it up into some columns. We'll see how that works, how easy that is. We'll add some media into this and we'll just see how easy it is to work on the front end of the website. So let's just expand and we'll just choose a layout by clicking on the change layout option and you can see that gives us all the typical options we had available to us in the back end editor. So let's split this into a 50-50 column setup. Update that and close that down. Now you can see that we take our mouse over any of these elements that we start to see our guidelines. If we don't want to work with those we can just turn the guides off by clicking the guides on and off uh, switch at the top of the screen and now we don't get any of that distraction. Switch them back on and they're back available to us. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this particular block of text. Once that's copied I can just move that in exactly the same fashion that I would with the back end editor. Just grab the, the, re, re, the move handle, drag that over to the second column and we're kind of done. So if I turn the guides off we can see what this would look like on the page. Easy. Turn the guides back on. So if I want to edit this and put some media in there, I can just simply click the edit icon. That'll bring our text block settings exactly the same as we see in the back end. And we can just position our cursor, click add media. That'll take us to the media browser. We can find the file that we want. We can specify where we want to position it, what we want to do with it. Now if you haven't seen how I do all this, then I'd recommend going and take a look at the video to do with the inserting media and managing media. That's available as free on our channel. So go and take a look at that if you want some more information about working with media. 
So we'll just say insert into page. That'll float that out to the right hand side and we can just say, let's just save the changes. And after a couple of seconds, you can see, there we go. Close that window down. All very quick and easy. Now, what we're doing at the moment, we're seeing this as we would see it on a typical screen. If we use the options, so we can see the, re the responsive previews, we can see, well, what's it gonna look like on a tablet in landscape? Click, and we can get a good indication of what our page is gonna look like on a typical landscape orientated tablet. And the same for tablet in portrait, right the way down to a smartphone in portrait. So it's a great way of just making sure that the way you lay your pages out is going to look visually correct based upon various different uh, screen resolutions and screen sizes and devices. So you can see we switch, we've got the mobile menu, so we can check how that looks. And we can just come back and switch that back. So all very easy, all very straightforward. If I want to go and jump back into the back end to make some changes to this in an environment that I'm used to, I can just click the back end editor. Or if I'm happy, I can just say update and that'll save this with the changes we've made. So let's just do that. Give that a couple of seconds to go through and save. And there we go, we get a little successful message. And we can now just click the back end editor and very easily jump back in to the admin section where we can carry on work on the page should we need to. And there we go. So the view we're kind of used to working with. That really is all there is to working with the front end editor. You may find that you prefer working that way so you can see how your pages will look based upon the actual design or the template that you're currently using to make sure that everything sits in there correctly. Or you might prefer to work in the back end editor like we've done previously in other videos. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button below, it really does help. Spread the message around, share the video, share the links and subscribe if you find them useful. Thank you for watching and take care. I'll see you next time.